friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india this is a hypermature morganian cataract after aspirating the milky fluid capsular axis is being done at this moment with the help of uh, utrita forceps the nucleus is quite hard in this case so the rexes should be of this size about 5.5 to 5.75 mm in diameter and now visco has been injected into the anterior chamber and now this is a free floating nucleus if we try to make a trench or try to hold this kind of nucleus with bevel up we cannot do that so this is an an idea to make a tunnel with bevel down see if we make the bevel up and try to hold the nucleus the nucleus will just go all around so with bevel down and making a tunnel to some extent to some distance now i make the bevel off and now i go through this tunnel into the substance of the nucleus and now i can hold this nucleus very nicely so in case of free floating nucleus make a tunnel with bevel down then make the bevel up and go through that tunnel with bevel up hold the nucleus and chop it this is a very nice idea and anyone can employ this technique in his practice though the cataract appears white the nucleus is quite hard all the epinucleus has been incorporated into the nucleus and now as i ch make several chops see what we can see now you can see the endonucleus here this disc shaped object this one is the endonucleus it is being emulsified and removed and now these fragments free nuclear fragments are emulsified and engulfed when the posterior capsule is not covered by any epinuclear sheet when the posterior capsule is bare like this we must support the capsule with a piece of lens mass with a piece of nucleus and emulsify a nucleus above that nucleus at the iris plane remaining at the center of the anterior chamber otherwise at any moment we can catch the posterior capsule and pc rent can occur and in such cases where the posterior capsule is bare where the posterior capsule is naked we can use the iwell scaffold technique for emulsification of the last piece this is the last nuclear piece it is quite big so my plan is to divide this big piece into smaller pieces and the last piece i will not emulsify at any moment one piece is down 
protecting the posterior capsule and the other piece just above that piece is being emulsified and this is the last portion that I am going to leave it here I will not emulsify this I'll just come out inject visco 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose since this is a small piece it goes inferiorly and now an intraocular lens is placed in the capsular bag this is a hydrophilic acrylic single piece monofocal intraocular lens now over this lens this nuclear piece is going to be emulsified now we must take care not to touch the lens with the tip of the FECO needle while we apply the ultrasonic energy so the chopper is pushing the lens down and the lens nuclear piece is being emulsified at the iris plane just above that and that's it there's a small nuclear fragment near the side port we are going to remove that through the main incision for this Simco cannula is good you can just apply very low vacuum bring it near the main incision and bring it like this and now cortical cleanup has been done with the help of bimanual irrigation aspiration it's not difficult there is no seat here there is only the lens and the lens will not obstruct in aspiration of cortical matter but capsular tension rings can trap some lens fibers and it becomes difficult to aspirate the lens fibers these are the some lens fibers sub incisional it has been removed and now the side ports are closed corneal stroma on other side of these side ports are hydrated and these stab incisions get closed and now this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber after a final lavage the anterior chamber is formed very nicely and the case is concluded thank you very much for your attention hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills remember in free floating nucleus make a tunnel with bevel down then make the bevel up go through that tunnel you will be able to hold the nuclear mass very firmly and then chop the nucleus